Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and I recently saw Finding Dory, Pixar's newest movie. Now, I love Pixar, and I think Finding Dory really lived up to their standards, but whether you like the movie or not, there's one thing you can't deny, and that is that Baby Dory is possibly the cutest thing ever created. So, you guys know where this is heading. That's what I'm creating this week. I'm going to create Baby Dory, so let's get started. I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four. I like sand. Sand is squishy. That's right guys, holy crap look at this, I freaking love it. My wife did such a good job painting this. Look at it, so cute. Alright guys, well as you saw in the footage right before this, I created this in Fusion 360. And this didn't take too long to make, but um, being a Pixar character and how their characters are already 3D animated, and um, they, they have such distinct characteristics that make them feel uh, more lifelike. And so I, I really had to capture, especially the eyeballs, because um, I feel like that's what makes Dory, Baby Dory especially. So um, I, I really tried to get all of the details around her eyes and the mouth to match up as close as I could, because otherwise it just wouldn't look right. But I think I did an all right job. It came out, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And then of course my wife did an amazing job painting it like she always does. And she is just spot on with these colors. I don't know how she does it. And by the way, I have people occasionally ask me to explain what color she uses, but my wife mixes all of her own colors, um, and that's from a variety of different brands of acrylic paint. And she uses combination of techniques of like spray paint, um, airbrushing, and normal brush painting. So I wouldn't be able to begin to tell you what she did for these. Um, she basically just looks at a color and then starts mixing stuff until she's got it. So I can't help you out much in that regard, and I apologize about that. But what I can help you out with is providing links to these files, which, as always, are down in the description. So if you want to print one of these for yourself, you certainly can. And if you do, tweet me a picture. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. I absolutely love to see people enjoying my designs. And don't feel bad if you can't make yours look like this, because if it was me painting it, it would be a different story. And one more thing, this is a decently difficult thing to print. Uh, you have to use full supports to print it. And these fins are pretty tiny, so I wouldn't scale her down much. Um, scaling up should be perfectly fine, though. All right, guys, well, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. And then leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite Pixar movie is or your favorite Pixar character. And then don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And that's it for me, guys. I'll leave you with a preview of next week's model. Okay, so this is the Planet Express ship from Futurama. I really can't wait to see this one painted. Alright guys, see you next time.